Hey everyone, my name is David Ma and welcome back to First Time Reef for TV. And today, my friends, we are still in Osaka and I'm checking out one of the best aquariums that I've come across so far overseas and one of the best in Osaka at the moment. They have five stores across Japan and once we get inside, you have a look, you can understand as to why they have so many stores. Let me change some of the settings on my camera, get me a little bit lighter. So they, they specialize in aquascaping and they've started in marine in the last couple of months. So uh, keen to show you their marine section. This is outside here. They've got all their dry wood uh, and rocks and aquascaping supplies. You come here, pick out what you'd like. There's a little tank that you can set it up in to decide what the uh, type of scape you'd like and then you weigh up all the rocks and then you bring it inside and pay which I thought is a really really cool setup and a couple of stores across uh, Melbourne that I know of uh, uh, nature Aquariums especially are taking on that principle of uh, sort of like having a design scape pit that you can play around subscapes another one that I can think of now when we walk inside as you just get inside the front door you can see there are all of these uh, rainforest style scapes I think they're called paludariums um, as well as aquascapes and vivariums as well I think they're called um, with all of your Bucephalandra display tanks are there all the rocks that are required all the things to tie down your mosses uh, your plants that you want to choose from as well there's air plants submersible plants emos plants tanks everything that you need is in the front of the shop here for your scaping they've got the little workbench over here as well where they do all of their cleaning and, and work and so forth um, but this store is really, really big and the amount of display tanks they have is absolutely astounding. And all of their display tanks are kept absolutely pristine uh, as every display tank should be. Now as you walk further through the store, we get to the back here, we've got a couple of aquascapes behind me. Um, and one thing I really like about Japan is the way they display their freshwater plants. Um, perfectly manicured perfectly set up in the tanks all the plants look really healthy free of algae um, which makes you just want to buy stuff right now their freshwater fish section is like pretty immaculate as well one of the best that I've seen uh, in any store uh, they've got actual aquascapes across uh, all of their display tanks uh, the, the, the fish for sale tanks have aquascapes inside um, which probably makes catching fish a little bit more difficult but certainly presentation wise it's fantastic now Japan are the kings. I'm going to show you this wood. And the moss is over there as well. These guys are the kings of displaying moss. Like, I don't know how their moss looks so good and how they're already attached to driftwood so well, but you can get an instant aquascape pretty quickly. Now, there's a selection of microfish as well as beaters. Beaters are really beautiful. Uh, Japan as well are also renowned for their uh, uh, freshwater shrimp, exotic shrimp, basically the, uh, specifically the red bee shrimp, uh, which was, uh, I think, created here in Japan. Uh, the ultimate white body with blood red uh, colors, um, which you just don't see anywhere else except for overseas. Australia is not even close to it. So. Now we get to the marine section. So they've got a really decent fish section here as well as an invertebrate section up the top here. So you've got some uh, yellow assessors in there, uh, some peppermint shrimp, uh, red line shrimp, blood red shrimp, um, coral banded shrimp, some goby, starfish. So that's their invertebrate section uh, as, 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 as uh, every other part of the shop perfectly displayed and well manicured. Um, then you've got the fish section, the tanks are crystal clean and, and they do say they do turn over the fish very very quickly so they don't sit here for too long. They've got a massive tank full of clowns here, so many clowns it's ridiculous as well as designer clowns. Uh, they've got a couple of the special uh, special designer clowns at the top here. Some of the, like, the nicest uh, maroon lightning clowns that I've ever seen, specifically this pair, which has been really difficult to video because the I think the, 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 the female keeps running away. Uh, I think there's a, a long fin maroon clown there as well. Um, and all the tanks are crystal, crystal clean. So you can see the amount of work that goes into keeping these tanks clean. And all the fish are healthy. They run up to the surface when you put your hand there, um, looking for food. Plenty of flow in the tanks as well. So that's probably what gets rid of all of the detritus in the tanks. Um, but such an immaculate fish system and everything just looks really happy 
as you can see. Um, I mean, if I was to ever have an aquarium, this is probably how clean I'd want it to be. And then you've got all your bread and butter, your damsels, uh, and your chromas and everything over on the side here, as well as your blennies. Um, now, this marine section is actually, uh, I was talking to the owner before, only, I think, about a year old. So some of the tanks haven't been going that long. I think there is uh, a heavy amount of Australian corals in, in their systems here. But there's also a lot of Okinawan or Japanese corals as well. So Okinawa is, uh, I think, off the south coast of Japan. Uh, some of the cleanest and pristine waters uh, of anywhere in Japan. Um, and, and, and plenty of tanks devoted to uh, corals with really good life support systems. Now, uh, majority of their systems do run Zeovit on their display tanks. Um, and coral tanks, so they're going for that ultra low nutrient, something that they're trialing. I think uh, uh, I've, I've, I've convinced them to get in Aquaforest products as well because I was just saying I use Aquaforest products um, and how great they are. Uh, you'll see in one of their display tanks when I show you around the corner here, they've just got a shipment of the blue label range of coral essentials in. I think they're waiting on getting in the, the, uh, the black label range, and I told them you've got to get that in uh, to make sure you keep your. Your, your, your coral to that next level um, and a lot of these corals in here are from Okinawa um, which uh, uh, this this one here yeah. specifically apparently is is really priced so that piece there is about a hundred bucks I um, mean in the last store you saw I went to they had uh, uh, quite a few frags of it as well so all of these are hand collected off the coast of Okinawa um, which is uh, pre predominantly where all their coral comes from um, so you see this display tank here is heavy, heavy, heavy on uh, SPS colonies. Uh, their sump systems are, are really simple. Literally just a Zeovit uh, chamber, a bunch of filter socks, but a huge amount of water volume and a, and a big skimmer as well. I don't know where the skimmer is that's running, but... Uh, they're running the uh, they're running all sorts of different lights actually like they've got hydras they've got uh, radions they've got ati t5s uh, a couple of kessels as well um, they're gonna bring in the illumagic ranger lights soon they're just uh, trying to get those uh, over the coast um, but it's pretty amazing uh, to see the different styles of setups that they have here so they're they're they some sort of really really just simple clean and, and and nothing much inside but their tanks are kept super super clean like squeaky clean even their sumps are like absolutely immaculate so they, they they say they spend a lot of their time actually cleaning um their systems to make sure that they're in um, the best shape possible and they did say that they are looking uh for a couple of uh coral dis uh coral distributors so if anyone in australia watching this video wants to uh, send some coral over to Japan if you can get it here. Hit up the guys at Aqua Tailors. Uh, there's plenty of uh, insane coral collectors to choose from in our waters over there. Um, this store specifically has a huge amount of products, like huge amount of products. Everything from tanks to food to supplements to refractometers to uh, calcium reactors, algae reactors, little protein skimmers, and they're, and they're just getting more and more products. So, um, the reefer skimmers as well, they've been really popular uh, in Australia as of late. Uh, a huge range of octo over here, um, which I haven't seen a lot anywhere else. Um, RO units. Uh, little air pumps um, obviously they have a huge emphasis on shrimp as well so there's a lot of shrimp products here um, but they did say yeah they're, they're keen to get in the aquaforest range so um, hopefully they can bring those in soon because you know aquaforest is a great range of products uh, as every Japanese aquarium store they have a huge range of ADA including their tanks uh, supplements additives lights Everything you need ADA is here, down to their tools and everything else as well. So and this shop is really, really busy. There's like heaps of people buying stuff. Um, it is a Saturday afternoon, I suppose. Uh, so it's probably one of the busier days for them, but 
Um, just the amount of stock they've got is, is, is immaculate. They've got spare parts for all your Eheim pumps. Um, but yeah, they've, I think they've got five stores across Japan and I can see why because they've really done a store properly. Uh, they're saying Japan is a little bit behind in the, the marine reefing scene. So he's keen to bring it up to the standard of the rest of the world. And uh, he, he definitely wants to be known for having the best corals in Japan. Um, so he's got a huge emphasis on that. So if it's gonna be anything like his freshwater section, um, you can see that uh, you know they're gonna do it right but just before we end the video um, I'm actually being told there's like a cafe uh, style on the second floor here and they've invited me out to have a coffee so this feels a little bit like Reef Galleria Aquarium down in South Melbourne there shout out to Billy Holiday uh, so they've got uh, a range of plants up here as well a little uh, studio where you can actually come up and is this area so you can build your own scapes Oh, he's making me a coffee. Uh, so I think you can come up here and make your, your own uh, uh, little terrarium bowls or wabi kusas. Um, I assume they hold like a class up here. Saying, so this is like your full uh, shop that can do everything. So you've got your whole range of tools that you can use there. I think that's a demo that they, they've done previously on how to sort of fix. Uh, no, that's something that they're actually building. All oh, right, so they've, this is going to be like a little trickle filter um, down into the, the, the bottom there with, I'm assuming, mosses and submerged plants growing up the top. So this is really cool. I love it when Aquarium takes it to that, that, that next level um, to providing like the full experience. And that's what it is about these days, right? Having the full experience of, of uh, what, what everything you need inside an aquarium. It would be cool if we had uh, an aquarium that maybe did uh, an area like this but dedicated to fragging. So if you wanted to come in and buy a colony of coral and frag it up on the spot, I reckon that'd be really cool to have inside a store. I hope you guys enjoyed the walk around. I'll probably get a little bit of a montage dropping at the end of this video with some of their coral shots. But thank you for tuning in guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video, uh, leave a comment. Uh, whether you think I'm good or bad, uh, but any communication is good communication. But thanks for joining in, guys, and until next time, peace!